I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County, with a message about COVID-19 treatment for October 7th. Today's message is this. If you're over age 50 and you get COVID-19, you should get treated with Paxlovid. It's a simple message because it's a simple thing. Paxlovid is free. It's available in pharmacies across the county. It's easily tolerated. It's pills you can take for a week that help fight the virus and reduces your risk of ending up in the hospital or dying by about fivefold or 80%. Some may not be eligible, but that's rare, and for them, other treatments are available. The reason I'm focusing on this today is that I'm concerned this tool is being underutilized. Currently in Marin, at least 30 of us are being diagnosed with COVID-19 every day, and we know that's a significant underestimate of cases. At least one of us is newly hospitalized every day, and about every 10 days, on average, we lose someone to COVID-19. While these numbers continue to improve, this pandemic is not over. In 2022, over 95% of those hospitalized or who have died were over age 50. The older you are, the higher your risk. We're seeing that too many have not received this simple and effective oral treatment prior to ending up in the hospital. So we know we need to get the word out better about Paxlovid. For the past few weeks, Marin Public Health and volunteers from the Marin Medical Reserve Corps have done door-to-door -door conversations in Marin to learn how we can serve you even better. One preliminary finding we wanna act on now is this. While knowledge and access to testing and vaccinations is generally high, fewer are aware that COVID-19 is treatable or that free and effective medication is available. This is consistent with a pattern they're finding across the state of California and the nation. So I'll call this a treatment gap, meaning more people are eligible for treatment than are receiving it. And we wanna close that gap in two ways. First, by making sure you, our community, asks to be considered for treatment when you're infected, especially if you're over age 50. And secondly, that our doctors are aware that this is one of the best and most effective oral medications for any respiratory illness ever developed. This is especially true for our vulnerable older residents, who we find sometimes are not being offered outpatient treatment because they're thought to be too medically fragile, when in fact, these are often the individuals who need it most and are those who are most frequently ending up sicker with preventable hospitalizations. It may be that coverage of concerns like drug interactions and rebound effects have distracted from the basic message about Paxlovid, which is that people who take this medication have less serious illness overall and are far more likely to survive. Two and a half years in the, into this pandemic, we're learning to live with this virus and accept it as part of our environment. To do that safely though, we need to recognize and use the best tools we have and reach for them at the right time. Now is the time to get the updated vaccine, the fall booster, and if you're infected, to use the medicine that helps fight off the virus. Together, we can reach a point where COVID hospitalizations and deaths are part of our past and not our future, but we're not there yet. So again, if you're over age 50 and get COVID-19, the best thing to do is to get treated. Thank you for doing your part.